I'm at a point now where I'm trying to not let as many things bother me, but I do feel like the point I'm at right now in life is confusing. Like, it's confusing as shit right now, man. And you get to a point where you understand nobody care about you no more. Overall, other than, and I'm not talking about your friends, family, I'm just talking about as a whole, it's like you out here, you out here in the world. If you fail, you fail, nigga. If you fail, you fail. Cause guess what, when your family pass on and your friends doing what they doing with your life, at the end of the day, it's like you gotta make sure you straight. Even, even when you in a relationship, the way you feel about somebody, you may be like, damn, this my rider, like, this my rider die, like, we got an unbreakable bond. That person could have a whole different thought process under the smiles and the lust, and the dates. They could have a whole different mindset. They could be like, I'm about to be done with this motherfucker in about two weeks. So it's like, let's just say that ends, and you put all your personal time and all your energy into that. Now you out here feeling lost. Like, damn, I don't know what to do. I'm by, by myself now. I'm lonely. I'm confused. I've been through that before. I've been through that in my last relationship. And it's just like, I learned, one thing I learned from that was you got to always make sure you good. Whether you single, dating, in a relationship, or 10 years, you always got to make sure you good. Because at the end of the day, it sounds so cold and black you do die alone and you're the only one walking your feet walking in your shoes every day you gotta be straight if everything in your life just leaves you leaves you lonely you gotta be able to say I'm good it's cool I'm good yeah you're gonna be sad but you gotta be able to say I'm good fuck it I really just feel like at the end of the day, it's confusing. It's confusing, but hope, hope is what helps me. Now, I know when I speak like this, sometimes people just like, oh, whatever. If I put it on my IG or some shit, they just skipping through it, oh, whatever, nigga. Because I know when you're not successful yet, people won't listen. But when I make these, it's like, it's little memoirs for me to go back on and check myself if I need to get checked so I won't get lost. It's so easy to get lost when you're on a, a journey that's bigger than, <laughs> than bigger than you even know how to handle. It's not like, it's not like I just got like a little piece of putty in my hands. It's like I got a whole fucking... 10 jars of tub. I can't I can't hold it. I can't hold my dream in my hands. My dream is too big to fit in my hands. I, I literally can't hold that shit. So it's like the only way to make myself feel good and actually feel productive is to do more. And I guess in life you'll realize that you have to do more to separate yourself. But it's like it is easy sometimes to go into that dark place when you feel like you're doing so much and you're not progressing like you want to progress. It's so easy to go to that dark place because sometimes you'll have a good week and then one, the smallest thing might just spark that, will pull that trigger, pull that trigger and just release that dark energy that you try to suppress. But I'm also realizing it's best to not suppress your dark energy express it some type of way like me a lot of my newer music has been kind of i would say dark more so dark but i don't mean it to make people feel sad when they listen to it I, it's just it's literally coming out of my brain coming out of my heart whatever emotion you get from my song is that's how i wrote it when i wrote it that's how that's how i wanted to that's how i felt so I'm learning not to suppress that dark energy because when you do, it eats away. Like, it eats away at your insides. It's like, it, it eats away at your soul. Like, and I do believe souls are immortal, but I just feel like it does kind of taint your soul when you just hold on to all that negative energy and dark vibes. 
let it out. I'm not saying go hurt somebody, but let it out in an expressive way. You think about positive energy, it is a choice to be positive no matter what. But with me, you know, and they just say, choose to be positive, just choose to be positive. It, it was never that easy for me. Like, I can choose to be positive and then one thing I happen and I'll be like, man, fuck it, or fuck it. And I'll just be, in, be away all day or all week. So I'm working on it. I'm working on myself and I'm working on it. That's why right now I'm taking a little break. I'm taking a little break and it's not a serious break because I'm working on an EP right now, but it's just like, I'm trying to just get my mind back right because it's a lot of changes being made right now in my personal. And I got a lot of dope things. I got a lot of dope things coming up for y'all, but I'm not gonna be able to perform the way I need to and be the man I need to be, the artist I need to be if I'm not right. So I'm just taking care of my temple. I'm taking care of my temple right now. I'm just learning because it's so easy to get off, off track, man. It's like when you when you chasing your dream, when your dream is bigger than just some simple shit, it's like you walking on the tightrope. Everything try to push you off the tightrope. Life, personal, like friends, families, relationships. It's like everything is trying to put push you off the tightrope. That's why I only try to take things with me in my little knapsack as I'm going across that tightrope to get to my dream. I'm only putting important things in my knapsack, which can include people like the, the friends who support what I do, the family. I don't have a big family, so all of them come on me regardless. Um, people who just want me to succeed. But it's like so many people want you to fall off of that shit and just fail. But that's just my little two cents. Um, Y'all stay tuned. And if you listen to this whole thing, like, I truly can say thank you. Thank you for caring about my sensei shit rant. Stay tuned.